So, what is up guys? We got your boy Jet Stinger here today, and today, 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 we're back with some Aether Gazer content here today, and today we're going to be talking about some news that was just revealed from the JP side. This is basically going to be revealing information from the JP, because it is a little bit further ahead of us in time zone, but it is on the same version. So, the maintenance that's going to be happening later today in Global is the same exact thing that's going to be being announced in our side of the game as it is to JP. That's the only thing. Global and Japan are on the same. Chinese is obviously several uh, patches ahead, but we'll catch up in due time, all right? I'm right. Anyway, so let's talk about it. So we're not going to cover too much about the hell of it itself because it's just the standard stages, event, and everything like that. But there are a few things that actually, actually hint about our next banner and new content that might be coming a little bit early. So we'll go ahead and talk about that because that's the most important stuff and I know you guys want to click on the video just for the most important stuff. You probably saw that title. Let me not waste your time. Anyway, so let's scroll down a little bit. Let's roll down here. This of course is going to be talking about the information about the hell event. If you want to read this, I'll leave a link to the, uh, to the post so you guys can also see it as well. Anyway, so we also want to take a look at this little post right here. Modifier experience from... Uh, from the 1st of August to the 11th of August, you will be able to use Hell for free as like as a trial unit. Keep that date in the back of your mind. August 11th, 2023, keep that in the back of your mind. Anyway, you can use trial modifiers for the stages without having a fixed rotation without this lineup. Of course, this is basically just saying you can use this Hell essentially for the first part of the event. If you don't have a built up team and you just hit rank 30 and you're still building up your characters, you can just use the built up team that they give you, which is actually really good. That's actually a really good way to easily farm the event without having to, uh, super level or be held back by the event so that's it that's a good thing for you guys there but anyway so here is a little bit further down right here so this little tidbit right here confirms that the end rank will be added to the new and normal banner after friday the 11th that means if we go over here and we click on we check our date on our, our on our PC or whatever device you have your phone you will then see that on the 11th you will be able to see the new banner which everyone suspects is going to be Hera because of the patch that we're in right now unless global or JP well global and or JP pulls a haha -ha funny and reveals a different unit instead People are pretty much expecting this. Now, if we go from the day to from day to month, that's about a week, a little bit of a week away. So, obviously, we have Tuesday where the maintenance and the event starts, which is going to be on the first. Then we have that Friday, which is just going to be bleh, whatever. And then on the eleventh is going to be when that banner goes live. So that is going to be where we see our, where we possibly see our Hera, and we can just kind of go from there. We suspect probably the new banner character won't come out until probably, um, probably three months after. I mean, not three months, three weeks after. Probably that'll probably be our dead time, just to give us a little bit of time to kind of just hoard up our resources and do whatever we need to do. But that is going to be that. So that does confirm that there's going to be a new banner on the 11th, which I feel like is a little bit early. I felt like people were saying that she was going to come around the 18th, which then we could just get the three weeks of dead time from there. So there's that. Now, there's a few more things in here I really want to talk about. And I'll go over them really, really quick. These are just obviously the, uh, the standard stuff you can buy from shop. So make sure you, uh, if, you are, if you are a spender, go ahead and get them. But here we have new confirmation of certain things. We have more things in dark zone purification, which is the uh, which is the hazard zone cleaning. We have new modes in uh, Nightmare Second Coming, which is going to introduce new levels. I think this is the Omega mode that was introduced in uh, in CN. So I think this might just be the Omega mode. I'm not sure if this is going to be different than that. But that is going to be added, and that is going to be our first two stages of that, and it's going to be reset uh, every single day. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be a new game mode for us, and more for the levels in terms of hazards on cleaning, which is good. And then we have a casual observation, which is the mode where you control the little mirror cart little thing, and then you're trying to collect all the treasures. So we have another new one for that. So yeah, it's going to be uh, new stages, five new stages. That's going to be a lot of resources because a lot of these things actually give quite a bit of resources. I think they give about two to 400 per stage. So that's actually, that's pretty good. 
pretty good. I mean, the battles are super cheap. I think the only thing that's annoying is just figuring out the number amount of battles depending on the map because some will require you to not do battles. But here's the big one right here. So let's talk about this little tidbit right here. We are planning to implement the new joint battle content alliance front. Participation options must belong to a guild and it will be further announced in detail. So this means that they are going to be announcing soon. It might not be on the direct maintenance. I assume maybe, maybe not. But this is going to be confirming that guild battle content is coming. If you guys don't know, it's a game mode where you and your guild can join together and use boss. You can use the you can use one of your units of your respective guildmate. So whatever guildmate that they have, if they have like for example, you know, an SSS uh, Sukiyomi, for example, you can borrow that Sukiyomi and use it in your team as you so as you see fit. But that's basically that. But it's a guild battle boss constant thing. It's just a way for you to get more resources for your guild. It's not anything super competitive from what I've been told. I think it's just more so just another game mode that you can play with your friends and just kind of talk about getting good scores with each other. So, but they are confirming that guild battle stuff is coming. And that's pretty freaking huge. All things considered, that is pretty, pretty freaking huge. So they did just confirm a lot off of this. They confirmed a lot. So it, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot that they confirmed off this. And I am very, very, very happy uh, to see that this stuff is actually being implemented in the way that it is. I'm very, very happy that, um, that things are being handled in the way that they are being handled. So we are getting, it looks like we're getting early guild battle content. We're getting more new stages in uh in Hazard Zone. We're getting a new type of mode here. We're gonna be getting more of these. This is just more free resources really for the player. So this is gonna be giving us a little bit more of free resources to mess around with. So maybe people may not feel as bad as going for uh, going for hell. These more new stages right here is gonna give us so much more to, uh, of the uh, stuff for Hazard Zone. So that's gonna be a big, 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 big dub because I love that type of stuff. But anyway. That's going to be it, man. And I'm so, so happy. Like, I'm so, so happy about uh, this type of thing. Because it's actually very, very cool that this actually should be a thing. So, but anyway, uh, this has been your boy, Jess Tinger. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe as well. I've been really trying to get some people to really subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.